All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 155570. So this is actually having a charging issue. Um, the charge port's actually broken, so we bought a replacement. Let me actually open this up and kind of compare it real quick here. Okay, so we ordered a replacement. Came in this little baggy thing. Came in a little bubble wrap bag. And uh, we just want to make sure. So here you can see, this is what it looks like. Okay, you can see this plastic area around here. Okay, and I've seen so many people break these. So if you look at in here, the thing is completely missing. All right, and you just see those little metal pins and it's not focusing properly, but hopefully you get the idea. All right, anyways, we're gonna open up the bottom using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. We're gonna remove all the screws. I believe some of the screws actually stay in place. Yeah, I think those screws stay in place. So keep that in mind. All right. Let's go ahead and pull these all out. All right, so I'm gonna undo those. If the screws come out, you wanna put them flat side down like this in the pattern you remove them. Keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. All right, that's very important. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, usually stuff where it's like this, but it's like there's nothing in between like like crossing. I'll put this in one row. So you got like four screws here, um, but you can do whatever helps you remember it. I just go all four in one row. All right, and then we got these three down here. Okay, so let's get all these in there. All right. It looks like this screw is shorter than the rest and smaller, so keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and pop this bottom cover off now. So we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up slightly. You wanna get into this gap here. I use my fingernails. You can use plastic pry tools, whatever works for you. But I do that, and then I use my thumbs on the back here so I can pull the clips away. So here you can see, just like this, pushing with my thumb and pulling with my fingernails, all right? And we're gonna go over here, same thing. I know some people don't like the fact that I have long fingernails, but I use them all the time. So you're going to have to live with it. I use the tools I got on hand and these are what I have on my hands. All right. So there we go. Now we popped all those clips out. We got to see, sometimes you can kind of just wiggle this out and this will unhook itself. Kind of just wiggle it around. All right. This side seems to be stuck for a bit for some reason. Um, so we're going to kind of just wiggle this around. Kind of grab closer to here maybe pull it towards you and push it away looks like pushing the cover that direction and pulling on this kind of helps release as you can see so i'm pushing the cover back this way and i'm pulling this in this way all right so now we'll set this cover aside here you can see what it looks like oh it's pretty dusty so i'm going to, have to clean that out all right this is really dusty actually okay so i'm gonna to have to clean that out let me do that real quick and i'll be back um if you want to be extra safe, you can disconnect the battery first before doing anything. Um, let me actually do that real quick for you guys. All right? I actually have my knee against my metal desk, keeping myself grounded. So if you're wondering, because some people ask me, like, um, how come I don't wear a grounding strap or something like that? Anyways, we're going to use, I'm using my fingernails, and I'm going to kind of just wiggle this connector. As you can see, as you wiggle it, it pulls it out. And there we go. Battery's disconnected. All right, next thing you're gonna do, you wanna carefully open up the screen and we're gonna open it very slowly. Then we're gonna press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds. All right, give it about another 10 seconds or so. This will drain any residual power and make it a lot safer to work on, okay? Give it a few more seconds, there we go. All right, now we're gonna carefully close this up. All right, so now I'm gonna clean this up. The reason why I'm being extra careful is because you're missing the screw here and here on both sides, okay? And if you just yank it out, there's a good chance you can even break the hinge mounts. Um, it's always a good idea too to check if these are tight. It looks like they're not moving anywhere, so we should be okay. Sometimes on some models, those screws come loose and then it breaks really easily. All right, so to clean this, usually what I'll do is I'll take a toothbrush and I'll loosen up the dust and then after that, I have an electric air blower that I use to just blow all the dust away. All right, so I'm going to clean that up, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Let me actually zoom back out so you can kind of see the whole thing at once. All right, 
So here you can see there's two sticks or two slots for RAM, but only one stick. You got an M.2, um, that's a SATA SSD actually. So I don't know if it supports PCIe NVMe or not. I'm guessing it does support PCIe NVMe, but I don't know for sure. Um, and that guess is based off of this um, SATA hard drive slot here. So there's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive slot. Um, I'm not gonna go over all of this. I'm pretty sure I've done already a video of this model. Um, so if you want to see and you're not sure, uh, feel free to let me know, but I've had one where I kind of already pointed out everything. I think the other didn't have the keyboard backlight cable there, um, but yeah, I've done several of these. So, all right, let's pop this out, zoom in here. All right, and we'll take these three screws out. So basically I'm just doing a DC jack or charge port um, removal on this video. This is more of a quick look inside. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pop this up. So we're gonna twist this. All right, so it looks like it's pretty easy to get to. Hopefully the charge port is okay. But give me a second, I'll be back in a bit. All right, sorry about that, I'm back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the charge port here. So we're gonna remove this screw. All right, once you remove that screw, you can actually lift this out, okay, just like this. And then we're gonna thread it through around here. Pull that out, just like that. All right, it's a little tricky because it's tucked underneath the wireless antennas, but no big deal, just like that. And then I use my fingernails here to kind of just wiggle this connector and pull that out. As you can see, you want the connector this way with the flat side up. You don't wanna put it upside down where you can see those metal pins. Normally they put a little dot here to tell you which side is up, um, but yeah, you wanna make sure. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna thread this underneath here. Okay, and we're gonna work it over. And same thing, just line that back up. And you wanna go along the edges of the connector. You don't wanna push on the wires here because you can damage that. And then we're just gonna pull that back in. All right, and it looks like it's good. Okay, make sure it doesn't come out easily and we should be fine. Then we're gonna get this wire, have it threaded back under through that. There we go. All right, and then this thing, as you can see, it's like flipped upside down, so we kind of have to rotate it. Get that into place, all right? You have all this excess wire or cabling. You can kind of pull it in and tuck it wherever it fits, okay? And you can see this wire's pretty long, so you want to be careful because you don't want to damage the cable trying to maneuver it. Okay, and there we go. Just like that. Pull that and it should hold itself in place somewhat. We'll take the screw and we'll put this back in. So their laptop wasn't charging. Hopefully they didn't damage the charge port or the charge circuitry by plugging it into the damaged one. But anyways, we're going to uh, put that back down. And we're going to go ahead and get these screws back in. You want to make sure these screws are nice and tight, that they're not going to come loose. Like that, and like this. And then we got one more screw right there. And there we go. Tighten that in. Okay, there we go. So now we got that, we're gonna just go ahead and we can actually test it right now without um, putting the cover back on. Um, we do, oops, have to make sure to get the battery back in. So make sure if you do this, you wanna make sure to get it lined up. Let me actually zoom in here for you guys. So it's important that you make sure this connector goes in straight and lined up centered. You don't wanna try and push it in crooked or you can damage the pins. I've had a customer bring me a laptop where they destroyed the pins trying to do that. All right, there we go. That's in place. Let's go ahead now and plug this in and see if it charges, okay? So we got the cable here. This is with their charger. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to try my charger, but let's zoom out, okay? And we'll plug the charger in. And you see this light came on and it can't turn back off. Usually it should stay on if it's charging, so I have a feeling something is not right. Let's go ahead and open up this computer. So I'm gonna hold the screen and slowly, carefully open this up. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna power this on, 
And usually on Dell, it's F2. So I'm pressing F2. OK, F2. There we go. All right. Once you've done that, we're going to go into, let's see, system information. Hopefully we have some battery information here. I can't see because it's upside down. Let me flip this over. OK, so actually we're going to go to battery information here. And here you can see AC adapter unknown. Battery health is fair. So I'm going to try with my charger and see what happens. All right, so I'll get my charger and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back with my charger. <clears throat> this one's actually a more powerful charger, but it's also a Dell charger. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we got. Oh, the charger's on this side. So let's see if the light actually stays on. So it's lit up right now, and it turned off. So they might have fried the charge circuit by trying to force in the charger, um, even though it broke. Let's go ahead and power it up, and we'll press the F2 key again and see what it shows if it can actually the charge light is staying on now oh wait no it just flashed on and then shut off um let's go ahead and see the battery information and see same thing ac adapter unknown health is fair so yeah so whatever they did they fried the charge circuit here <clears throat> so most likely from plugging in the bad charger, some circuitry somewhere here got fried. Um, I don't really do um, motherboard repair on that level, so I'm not too sure. I might have to check with my partner and see if they can fix this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All right, anyways, uh, we got that. We're going to... Uh, one thing we can try, we can try resetting the CMOS or BIOS here. So I'm going to power this off first. Okay, make sure the computer's off. I'm going to unplug this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the CMOS battery connector off. Just same thing like the other ones. I know it's not zoomed in enough, but I'll, let me see. All right, just grab the connector here. I use my two fingernails, and I kind of just wiggle the connector to pull it. And just keep wiggling it. Eventually, it will pop out, okay? You have to keep pulling and wiggling, and eventually it will come out. It's coming out more and more, All right? Just keep going. Wow, this one's actually holding really strong. I might have to use more force. So I'm going to use my two index fingers and do that. And okay, there we go. All right, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to short the two pins to the uh, CMOS or BIOS battery. And that should drain the power. So basically, I'm just getting my screwdriver between the two pins on the back of the connector here. All right, and that should hopefully drain and reset the BIOS. Um, I don't know if that's going to fix the battery issue. Most likely it's not going to fix the charging issue because it looks like they actually fried the charger. But um, let's see. All right, we're going to plug the CMOS battery back in. All right, just like that. And let's go ahead and plug the charger back in and see if the light stays on or if it stays off. Light's on. It's probably going to go off. All right, and... Yeah, so it looks like they fried the charge circuit. I'm going to power it on. You'll see the light turns itself on. Um, and then I'm going to press the F2 key. It's The light's probably just going to turn itself back off. But yeah, it turned itself back off. So yeah, it looks like they fried the um, battery circuit. Plugged in, battery's fair, but unknown charger. All right, and that means the moment you unplug it, it's just going to shut off. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, that's not working. Anyways, um, I guess we'll put this back together. I'll let the customer know and see what they want to do. The bottom of the cover is easy enough to get off, so we'll probably stop there anyways. Yeah, because definitely their charge port was bad, and they can't even plug in a charger here. So, okay, let's go ahead and put the cover on. All right, get that, line it up, and then just click everything back into place. Might have to check from the other side, but make sure everything's clicked in, good. And we'll just tighten all the screws back in. Excuse me, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, um, if it's not your charge port or your charger, and you check in there, um, that it shows AC adapters unknown, 
um, then that means it's something on the motherboard, which really sucks because, yeah, that you need someone with um, board circuitry knowledge, okay? And that's something I don't have. Anyways, and also you'll need to get like specific chips to replace or capacitors or resistors, things like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get these screws back in. All right. And then we'll get these bottom screws back. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, drop this. Bye.